Okay, well, we are inside Bedford Street Antiques today in Carlisle, which we come to a lot. Um, our friend Paul is actually a vendor here, and we love to frequent his booths because he's always got really good deals on antiques. And so we're hoping to find some good deals today. Mushroom mugs. Andrew has already found mushroom mugs, so here we go. I feel like, I feel like somebody would appreciate the mushroom mugs. The mushroom mugs? Are you feeling mushroom I mean, no mugs more vegetables, today? vegetables, but... It's like a whole cacophony of vegetables. It's a plethora. A ple oh, look at you with the big words. There's no markings on them. Have you had an equal sufficiency to substantiate your capacity? I have no idea what you just said. For my propensity to make big words. Where did you find this? Uh, with the other mushroom mugs right there. I'm going to check out this platter. And I'm going to actually move this phone that weighs 7 million pounds. Can you hold this phone, please? Hello? <laughs> Doesn't work anymore. I'm going to look at the bottom of this. What does that say? I can't read that. Chicago. Definitely not. Onion. Definitely not. Oliver. You are just making things up at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it says none of those things. You have made all of those things up. <laughs> I do like it though. It's this unique pottery plate. Yeah, I don't know what that's. Oh, just Oops. throw the phone at it, Andrew. <laughs> don't tell Paul. Don't tell Paul. <laughs> He's not watching right now. I'm gonna walk right in front of you. Thank you for that. So I always look into all of Paul's cabinets because a lot of the times he has hidden stuff in the cabinets. And um, we've got these Bristol vases in here. There's a pair of them for $50, which is actually a really great price. I just don't know if we can do it for resale. That is an amazing price for those. And they usually come in pairs. So this is great to find them in a pair. You don't always find them <laughs> together like that, but um, I just don't know if I can do it for resale in that color. The blue, I might consider it, but in that color, I just don't know. So we're gonna pass on those. I do like this. What is this? This is Sweden. This is a golden crown. I do kind of like that. $19 though, so. We'll pass on that. But we have to look in every nook and cranny. He's making oh, oh I see a Murano duck. <laughs> I don't I don't know who has this booth. They always have really amazing pieces of art glass, but they have always been outside my price range. That's not to say I won't look at them but at least. <laughs> Let's see what we have. So this is definitely a Murano duck. You can tell just by looking at it, by the way that the face is formed. And that's something that comes with looking at a lot of our glass pieces, just being able to look at it and say, oh my gosh, is this not amazing? <laughs> um, but they've got $30 on it and that's just a bit too much for me, but that is a really good price. So I'm not going to discount it as being overpriced. It's just, Unfortunately, right at the cusp for me. Down here, this is also a really nice piece. This one, I wouldn't say is Murano, but it's still a nice piece of art glass. Um, this one, I would say is Murano. I believe there was damage to this the one time I looked at it. Maybe not. 30 is just too much for me to pay for art glass. I usually try to keep it around 20 to 25. So that's just right over what I can pay for it. I really like that one. I love the colors of it. And this, this clown bowl over here is pretty great. I do like that too. That one's 30 as well. Yes. I'm just along for the comic relief and to find things for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well let's check out this. I do like those slag glass candlesticks. Can you read them? 35 bucks. That's too much for us. That's saying. But it's 20% off, so that's seven dollars off. Yeah, that's still that's still That's not really a bad pretty. price. Yeah, those are really pretty too. 
I always have loved this booth. And look at these. Oh my gosh, Juliet would go nuts for these. This is $2. Oh my gosh. Oh, the power cell. That's less than I paid for it at Goodwill. <laughs> Can you open that and model it for us? Mm -mm. Let's see it. Is it broken at all? <gasps> oh my gosh. She would be so happy about that. It stays. Oh, it's beautiful. You gotta, you gotta swirl it, swirl it. Yep. Okay. Good. That's great. I see a little. Actually, there is a, there is damage. But for two dollars, a six-year-old girl could have a lot of fun with that. Oh yeah. I think we should get that for her for two dollars. Let's look at the price on this one. Four dollars. <laughs> Stop. Put my booty out. <laughs> this one has no damage. <laughs> now it's awkward because there's something talking to me. <laughs> I love that. It would have been more fun if you would have caught me sticking my booty out. Yeah, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that's less than I paid a good one. So I think that's a definite guess. We're going to get these for Joe yet. Now we'll just wrap them for Christmas and be like, guess what? We got you for Christmas. There's some parasols. Some more parasols. <laughs> no, you can never have too many. So congratulations, Juliet. Yeah, it's a great idea. I mean, that's six dollars worth of parasols right there. Yeah. I see a whole vase. It says USA vase. Maybe it's not all. Oh, that looks like a Royal Coakley bottom. Twenty percent off too. Hmm. I'd say it's worth probably between twelve and fifteen. So. I see some carnival back here. This is twenty. It is 20% off though, so it's 16. Question mark design. Ooh, what is that? Oh my goodness. Look at that bear. Murano glass animal, $35. 55. Oh, 55. I can't read numbers. <laughs> Look at his nose, though. Oh my gosh, he's fantastic. I cannot pay 55. At 35, I was tempted. <laughs> but at 35, I just can't pay that. It's probably about what he's worth, and he's just absolutely fantastic. I love his nose. <laughs> I found a gift from my father. <laughs> it's his own. Church. He could have his own church in his Just front like yard. His oh my soul. gosh. Maybe not. Wowzers. Like, I'm not doubting it's worth that, but that's insane. I need to find one of those. Right? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Ooh. Okay, I can touch that. <laughs> We've got a Marcellus and... It's a souvenir plate. I talked about it recently on one of my haul videos. Um, Roland and Marcellus. These are usually worth about $20. This one is Harrisburg. The one that we have is Providence. Yeah, see that one's local over here, so that'd be easier to sell on the shop. Yeah. Hello, birdie. Ooh, I like this. Is that Hoosier or oh, this is Hoosier nice. Hoosier glass or something? Swooner. Swooner, that's it. Swooner swan. It's a Swooner swan. That's really nice. I know. Reticulated platter. Of course it has a warning label. Okay. You guys know I don't like my porcelain with warning labels, so I'm going to pass on that. So Paul does have his ceramic trees out. This one is $59. I know a lot of the times when I film in here, people are always like, oh, the Christmas tree. 
Paul knows what they're worth and he prices them accordingly. So this one is $59. Unfortunately, I couldn't make any money on that, but that is a really good price for what it is. Um, so he does have $59 on it. I know, I've got like seven of them. <laughs> so that one's 69, yeah with the snow on the outside. These are worth money. So if you ever see them at the Goodwill, which they do turn up occasionally, they're worth grabbing. They they are good for resale. They are hard to ship though. So keep in mind when you find them at thrift stores that they are not the easiest to ship. You have to be mindful of that. Look at this. Blue hobnail pitcher. That's really pretty too. Satin glass. You're never going to see the price because I'm not helping you with my hands. I've got my hands. Ha! Huh, I got it. <laughs> Nine bucks. Nine bucks. And it's got the hanger on it to hang it on the wall. I like this. Yeah. I don't know if I could pay it 14 That's a good price. <laughs> but after I subtract all of my eBay fees, I just can't make any money on it. So picky I am picky. I have to be picky. <laughs> Ooh, it looks like Paul's gonna sell his regular lamp. It's on hold. That's exciting. This has been here a while, so that's really exciting. Okay, so I just spotted this guy right here, and I had actually found one similar to this when we were up in Emporium, Pennsylvania, and it was actually completely brass. So this is a little bit different, but it is only $10, and it's not brass. It's, I think, cast iron possibly, but it is a griffin. I feel like that's a griffin. I'm, I mean, I'm not really up to date on my mythological animals, but I really like it. I feel like it's gothic and cool, so for 10 bucks, I think I'm gonna grab this. And um, Andrew has moved on, he, he's ditched me, so <laughs> we're just gonna see what else we can find and try to catch up to Andrew. Ooh, what is that back there? What is that creature? I'm gonna move these boots and figure out exactly what that is. Oh, it's a bear. Oh, unfortunately, he looks to be missing a tooth. So, I don't think that is for us. But this up here, what is that? Nine dollars. Candle holder. Ooh, let's get that out. Nine dollars? What? It's a vase and candle holder. I really like this and I especially like this with Thanksgiving on my mind because I guess if I can't use it, I mean, if <laughs> if I can sell it, that would be fantastic. If I can't sell it, I could totally use this. So I'm going to do a little research on it and see if I can resell it, but that's fantastic for $9. All right, well, I did just, this is way up here. <laughs> he's pretty cute I liked his eyes I thought maybe he could be California pottery but I think he might just be a hobbyist piece he's three dollars and fifty cents I think I'm gonna leave him because he's not California pottery I was kind of holding on to hope that maybe he was but he's not did you just find some mushrooms it's only a mushroom oh only a mushroom $2. This is pretty cute. This lady's super nice. She's been here a few times restocking while we've been in here. I don't think I've ever like actually walked all the way in here. She's a super sweet lady. Hmm. There's some cute stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's got some nice stuff in here. A lot of her nicer stuff, of course, she keeps here locked up. But she's got some really cute salt and peppers. 
I'm in love with this side of my boy. Mm. I'm in love with this side of my $19. What? Paul. What does it say on the bottom? Just hold the lid. Support the lid. Please support the lid. Made in Bangladesh. Nuh uh. No, he's blind. I was going to say, that's the most obscure place ever. That's why I said it. I mean. Yeah, no, this is a nice set. These are all hand painted. There's a lot of work into that for $19, are you kidding? It should be a $50 set or more. You're probably right. I know I'm right. <laughs> I know I'm right. So much confidence. Mm. We'll do it again when you turn the camera off. That teapot? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You're the teapot man, so like, I don't know. Well, let, me, let me look at number one. What is the price? Eighteen dollars. Mid-century Mid teapot. Let me see the lid. Let me see the pot. So the handle's not repaired. Oh, oh that's really nice. I like that. You like I it? I like the shape of that. I mean, I feel like Paul would have looked it up though, and known that it's worth eighteen dollars. Yeah, but I like the shape of that. Though. It is a nice shape. It's like she's got her hand on her hip and she's like, little butterflies, you better come back right now. It's time. Or maybe she's saying I'm a little teapot short and stout. <laughs> here's my handle, here's my stop. This is only $10. Ooh. Oh, that's 35. Unfortunately, my limit is 20 to 25, so I can't, I can't spend 35 for it but it's a beautiful piece. This one for 10 bucks, it does look like there was maybe a finial on there that broke off, so I can't do that either. another booth that we've kind of fallen in love with um, since we've started exploring new booths here at the Antique Mall. I think I've looked at this one before. But there are some nice pottery pieces in here. Some really great pieces in here worth checking out. Come here. What? What does Lincoln says? Lincoln says four score and seven. <laughs> That's not what Lincoln says. Come here. He does today. Come here. What do you think of this evolves back here? The glass vaults. Mm. I like it. I like the feathered design of it. And it's twelve dollars. Twelve bucks? Twelve bucks. That's pretty good. I feel like it is. I like that. I, I like, like it. the swirls in that. I do too, and I feel like twelve dollars is a good price for it. Yeah, there should be room on that for us to make a few bucks on that. That's what I'm feeling. The shell shakers are going to pop up everywhere now. Oh my gosh, they're trash-tastic! I know it's locked, but look. It's cute. It's adorable. It's a little pin cushion with a bird on it. For seven dollars. <laughs> For seven dollars? I love the little bird. I'll take the bird for seven dollars. <laughs> anything on the bottom but mm. yeah there's nothing on the bottom but for 12 bucks I'll take it <laughs> thanks you got it $7.50 he's kind of great I think I'll take him as well <laughs> 
Commissioner Lid. What? Is it supposed to have a lid? Oh, I don't know. I thought he was just a planner. Yeah, I thought he had... would be perfect for succulents. I could put a succulent in that. Probably. He still had a lid. Well, you could put a succulent in anything. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, they will be closing in 10 minutes, so I think we're gonna head up to the checkout and see what the damage is. But we got some really great pieces today. We didn't get a whole lot, but we got a few really great items. Uh, we haven't been here in a while, but I think next time we'll be a little bit more thorough. I just felt like we were on the time crunch today, but we got some good items and uh, we will be back soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you stay tuned because we'll be dropping a new video tomorrow. So we'll see you guys then.